She didn't look well, and she looked like she had, she had, had a rough time looking for help. You were so sweet, though. I was. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I always go home and say, I like that lady. She's nice. <laughs> <laughs> when I do the ultrasound, they say, oh, I see something cancerous. I say, they trying to make me scared or whatever. So the surgery come up and they take all the holder down here and they said it spread to my my uterus to my lungs, and I look at my daughter pictures, cause my daughter pictures on my phone screen. And I said, no, I can't leave my daughter. And the doctor was right there. I says, I can't leave my daughter. I can't leave my daughter. She developed uh, rheumatoid arthritis, and it was really bad before she was diagnosed. So she had to go on a lot of prednisone and inflammatories. Her hands were, I remember that. Yeah. Her hands were huge. And her yeah. feet, she couldn't fit shoes in her feet. Yeah. You remember that? I remember her coming in once and I said, where's the baby? And she said, I had to have her. I have family taking care of her now because I can barely take care of myself. And that being a mom, I knew how hard that had to be and it just broke my heart. And I said, Rose is so much stronger than I even thought she was. And I knew she was strong, but she was even stronger than I thought. This is the person I need by my side because she's one of my help, you know? And not really, it's God send this angel for me, yeah. Yes, it's God send her. I'm living, yeah. She's always smiling like that. Living to see my kids grow up and you know, friends and other people mm -hmm. like Miss Wardy mm -hmm. and stuff. I'm happy, very, very happy. I always think about her. And I told her I wanted to come cook some Jamaican food for her. <laughs> <laughs> yep. <laughs> Did you turn your phone off? Yeah. Okay, good. Yeah. For high school, we had to do a community service project. And we had a whole list of things to choose from. I chose Gallagher Services because it was in the neighborhood. And I got to meet Sean and we'd get to work with him. So once a week, I'd come up and Father Ray would have different activities for us to do. Years down the road, through my work at F&M Contractors, we were a contractor for Gallagher Services, and we worked up at the, the facility where Sean was. And I was like, Sean Ball? And he's like, yeah. I'm like, do you remember me? And he was like, yeah. And he shook his head, yes. Um, I found out that every Saturday they went bowling. Sean and they, they filled the whole Parkville bowling lanes up. I'd go up there and watch Sean bowl. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. They don't bowl anymore, though, do they? No. Yeah. They do? Yeah. Yeah. So we did, I did that for a while, and then I, I wanted to try to do a little more, so I figured out, or I asked about what we needed to do for me to be able to take Sean out, just to go get an ice cream. Yeah. Yes, yeah. ice cream. Yeah. That's your favorite dessert, right? Yeah. Yes. We take them to 4th of July. We take them the 4th of July parade. Um, we, our birthdays are both in November. We're like a week apart in age. So I take him, we go, we have a birthday dinner usually at my house with my family. And then Sean would come in with a, with a job coach one day a week and clean the office. We like having him around. The guys, when they see him, they all treat him like he's one of them. He treats them like that. And with my kids today, they're, they're older. They're 17, 20, and 23. So they kind of have their own lives, but it's not hard to say, hey, we're going with, we're going to get ice cream with Sean Ball, you want to go? And they're like, yeah. You know, I mean, Sean is a great person. I, I would trust him with any one of my kids. I would trust him, you know, I mean, he he's a great guy. He's, 
he brings a lot of joy and happiness to us. He, he makes us laugh a lot too. <laughs> if you don't keep an eye on him, he'll bowl four balls and duck pin bowling. <laughs> right? Yeah. Yeah, you know that, yes. Yeah. Yes. My brother was staying a while at our house, and it, my grandma had to take care of five kids then. I was being unsafe towards my brother, um, threatening to punch them in the face. He saw I, I broke my, one of my brother's nose. Was, um, uh, I threatened to kill myself. I kept on trying to get string and trying to choke myself. I'm sometimes in like a down mood, like sleepy, grouchy, depressed, and mostly she brightens up my day. Since Carmen's been with me mostly, I've improved a little more. I've learned how to stay calm and take deep breaths in and out. Um, I've learned how to use my coping skills like a, and I'm starting to learn, learn how to ignore. Cause my, Carmen's mostly my hero. Like, mostly like Batman or like Avengers or something. Carmen's been the Avenger to me. I mostly am a lonely wolf, but mostly I barely have any friends now. But I said I don't care because Carmen's my friend. My best friend. That's why I keep on negotiating Mr. Edge and letting me keep her. No things work. I've tried with money, with liquor, chocolate, everything. Oh no, not again. I left a domestic violence situation and I was pregnant uh, from that relationship and I didn't have any place to go and I didn't really know what I was gonna do and it was just been a hard life. And I just said to myself, it's time to just start going right. It's, it's, it's time to start making these, these decisions to better my life. It was just an automatic, it just happened very quickly, that mm -hmm. out of all the staff, I just happened to be the one that she felt that she could really connect with. And Anna's house provided me structure that I really didn't have before. And they offered um, life skill classes, which related to, um, you know, like parenting and things like that. Well, Tiffany's good about setting goals. I mean, it's easy to sit down and put on paper that this is my goal, I'm gonna do this and that but Tiffany actually follows through. She's very caring and understanding, and she's always made me feel comfortable to talk to her about anything. And it's just nice to have someone um, that I can lean on, like a person. She's my person. <laughs> <laughs> We say love a lot around here. This Anna's house is full of love. And I think that helps just to hear it. To just hear someone say, I love you. I'm in the Anna's house um, supportive program now. And I have a, a, a townhome with my two children. And I love it. That was my goal, you know, to have, you know, stability in housing. And my other goal was getting a car, and I did that. And, you know, um, 
working a little bit. But she's done it all herself. We're just here for her to lean on, point her in the right direction, but she's done it herself. And it's been amazing to watch, and I'm just, I'm proud of her like she really is my granddaughter. Oh, <laughs> thanks, Miss Chris. And you know that. <laughs> I'm gonna go back to nursing school and finish and, you know, do that part-time and, you know, I wanna look into other things. I'm ready for it. I'm ready for, you know, to start doing, doing big things.